Hello everyone, I'm Matt and I thought I'd provide my thoughts on BlockCon. I should note that the photography is a little shaky uh, in the video because I did forget my tripod even I mentioned it in the previous video. I first want to talk about the day of the exhibition because it was held on a Sunday rather than a Saturday which is what they're normally held on and I believe it was held on the Sunday because then it allows them to set up on the Saturday instead of having to book the Friday making people have a Friday off work so they could actually set up the exhibition and while that's good if you're coming externally via train or driving in from a long distance it does actually have an effect on the overall whether you actually go to the exhibition and whether it's actually worthwhile going because I had to travel up on a Saturday stay in a hotel and then visit it on Sunday and then go back Sunday afternoon to last night purely because the cost was that much cheaper doing that than traveling up and also the time to do that would have been very prohibitive in terms of time I could actually spend at the event. Um, in terms of the exhibits themselves, the exhibits were really good. There was a really good mix uh, between old and new, moving and static, and across various different themes and years. Um, it was great seeing some of the stuff that appeared in, say, Block magazine or on the internet, actually in real life, um, such as the planetary uh, device. In terms of traders, the biggest negative I have about the traders is the lack of individual parts um, because very few people are actually selling individual parts in like bricks and pieces um, so people are selling like accessories but not actual pieces uh, such as bricks or plates and stuff like that which is the one negative I do have about the traders in specific and the stand layout as well seems to be a bit off as well however all that considered I think the worst aspect about uh, the exhibition was actually the venue. Um, and the reason for that is that the venue, although it was good, was very restrictive in terms of the floor plan and the size uh, of the aisles between the traders and between the exhibitors. Because the aisles were just about wide enough to have a push chair and one, possibly two people at a push. And... As it's sort of been mentioned as sort of like an event that would be good for kids, a lot of people are going to bring push chairs, and you might even have some disabled people as well who are coming in wheelchairs. Um, and the lack of space was prohibiting uh, flow uh, through the exhibition. There were several times where I had to wait for other people to pass so that I could get through, or for, uh, in some cases, kids um, to move around to actually catch up back with their parents so I could actually move around the exhibition space. So that's probably the biggest thing I'd say would be was impacting on the actual event was just the uh, location itself. Now obviously this is only the first one they've actually held uh, in Sheffield for BlockCon so hopefully if they do have it again another year then hopefully find somewhere a bit better in terms of the location as well. And the other thing I want to mention on that it is uh, the lo location because what I would suggest um, they do if it's possible is to book somewhere more city centre based such as the university um, or somewhere like that because it allows them to then have more although the access from public transport wasn't bad um, Sheffield isn't exactly the most signed city in terms of where to go um, especially if you're a pedestrian so hosting it somewhere really simple and sort of going all you have to do is here's a map and all you have to do is exit say Sheffield train station go straight on um, straight up the ramp past this fountain past this pub and you're there um, compared to the sort of like really I wouldn't say awkward but slightly difficult to navigate position of where the stadium is to the train, uh, train station because you have to go down quite a few side style roads uh, where there's not a lot of signage and everything else that's the biggest negative um, but those are my thoughts on BlockCon um, and I'm Matt and I'll see you in the next video